Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of No Terror. I really can't wait to see what's gonna happen today, so let's just dive into it. Did it take eight minutes? Jeez. How fast did I speed run this? Of course. Damn that music. Before you say anything, boss, I would like to apologize again for what I've done. Three. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I just need some extra cash, I swear. Okay, that's right. That's not why I asked you to come here. It's not. I need you to do something for me. Consider it a way to redeem yourself, if you like. Y yes, boss. I'll do anything. Good. I need you to find someone. Ooh. The, the person that you set up. The person that almost destroyed everything we built. What? What? Uh, I think you have it wrong, boss. No one set me up. And the reason that Dina check got me was because I used my email. She sent me a fake client message. I tracked me down because I used my own personal email instead of the groups. That's true, you were careless. I tend to do your own milk and job on the side reserve course to everything. But how would have Dina but how would Dina have known to target you specifically? There are hundreds of fake people all day claiming to be milkers and posting an email for job requests. Maybe she sends out fake client emails to everyone claiming to be a milker. If that's true, most fake milkers who receive an email will reply and attempt to get the job. Yet she seems to only suspect you. It, it can't be. I see you understood what I'm trying to say. The only way Dina would have suspected you. And not anyone else is because someone informed her of your identity beforehand. And the only people that know your identity between besides you and I are the other two core members, Han and Chigo. So, so you think one of them is a traitor boss? The only person that could have done this is one of the four core members. This is why I want you to follow around and observe every movement Han and, Ch Han and Chigo make. Every time I see Chigo, I just think Ichigo. And a little part of me inside wants to scream, BAD KAI! <laughs> I see. Leave it to me, boss. I s I'll find a shirt for you. I stare on it. Oh, you better, boy. Oh, you better. Huh. Interesting. But I can't be sure yet. I need to wait for the second phase of my plan. Couple days later, back in class. Ding dong. Alright, class, that's it for today. Remember, your test results will be posted on Wednesday. Ooh. Excuse me, miss. Do you mind if I say something before everyone leaves? Ah, uh, go nuts. Alright, please, yeah, please, yeah, yes, yes, please, come up here, Chris. Everyone, listen up good. Hello everyone, as I'm sure you're all aware, Culture Festival is coming up next week. In the last year we did this a survey, but the principal approached me and requested all class actually do something this year. Damn. That's, that's bullying. So I would like to take this opportunity to hear some of your suggestions. Please don't be shy, I'm open to anything. So this energetic looking guy is Chris. He's the class representative and probably the most popular student in the class. He's a teacher's expected young high school student to be. Bubbly and happy, full of life, but at the same time mature and responsible. He is creeping me out just by talking about him. <laughs> Any suggestion to be helpful, guy? He looks like Motoyasu. Like, the eye color might be wrong, but my choice it is. He reminds me of Motoyasu from Rising of the Shield Hero. It seems that no one cares su to suggest anything. Which is understandable, most students prefer to enjoy their time at the festival. No one, set, no one wants to sacrifice their time to do something bothersome, especially not after finishing the midterms. I have something. Oh my god. Mia, yes, please, go ahead. 
I've been racing a screenplay and I would love to hold class good performance in the festival. A school play? That's a wonderful idea. What do you think, guys? Sounds bad already. That sounds kind of cool. I've never been in the city before. Can I be the hero? I think I should be the hero. Yes, I said it. I'll be the hero. I'm not taking part in this if Kudo is playing the lead role. Jesus Christ. What the hell, MG? Don't worry, he won't be. Uh, why does the main character always have to be heated by everyone? It's so hard being the protagonist. Jesus Christ. You either die a hero or live long enough to be a villain. I'm no hero. <laughs> uh, I think a play is just a waste of time. It adds nothing to our education. As you make it about the dangers of pollution or something equally cool. The dangers of pollution aren't cool. I'm afraid the one I wrote doesn't deal with this boring stuff. Well said. Are you calling the safety and protection of a plant boring? Yes. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad to see much, so much enthusiasm, but let's not fight between each other. Chris is right. If you want to do this right, you need to work together every step of the way. Since it's Mia's script, I think it's only fair she be the director. But I want everyone else to give her ideas and feedback in a polite manner. Finally, I'd like to see everyone participate in this play. Even those who prefer not to take a part in anything. She's looking at me. <laughs> Does anyone have an objection for doing a school play for the festival? Nay. Perfect, it's decided then. Let's do our best everyone. Oh, I can move. But Ben? Yeah? Uh, are you going home? Yeah? What about the place preparation? Aren't you going to participate? No. I'm fine with whatever rule they decide to give me. And before they give us the main rule. Starring rule. Really? Yeah, it's not like I'm a good actor, so they shouldn't expect much from me. Uh, I see. Wanna go home together? Uh, I mean, if you're not busy or anything. Uh, sure, I'd love to. Re really? Cool. That's cool then. Okay, MG has the hearts to me. MG, join your party. Hey! That's impressive. She's going through her notes like usual. You're not going to participate either, Bella. Of course not. This play is one big waste of time. My time is valuable. I see. <laughs> Beaten by her once again. Oh no. <laughs> Anya is jealous. Ah, poor Anya. Oh god. Let's talk to her. She, she looks more depressed than usual. I see you two made up, huh? But what do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. I don't know what she means. <laughs> What's the story about Mia? Is it a kiss scene that you were serious when you said it wouldn't be I wouldn't be the male, the lead, right, Mia? Calm down everyone. I'm sure Mia will answer all of your questions. I'll post the rules available on our classroom online page so you can send me a message about the rule you want. Once I look at what each application with Chris, we will let you know the role you could play. Cool. I'll kill anyone who applies to the lead role, I'm not kidding. Shut up Kudo, you're bringing everyone down with your crap. You'd be lucky if you hit you with hit tree. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Enough of that. As entertaining as it was. <laughs> yeah. Probably shouldn't have saved there. So if that now. The last room is it two one. Let's go see if Dana is what. There she is, Nora Stidman. 
Just like how the milk is described, though, she sometimes eats her lunch here. She's also the only girl in this class with the initial N. The others on the list are all guys. Of course, the person that sent that email could be a guy, but judging by how they wrote it, it's more likely it's a girl. Alright, let's talk to her. Where did she spawn in from? Jesus Christ. Hello. Uh, hi. My name is Ben. I'm from Classroom 24. I don't know if you've heard, but we're doing a play for the Culture Festival. Oh, uh, that that's cool. I was put in charge of invitations, so would you mind if I get to school issued emails to, to send you the invite once we design it? Uh, my email address? Well, uh... Is that Dana? Sorry, Norma. <laughs> Sorry, Nora. <laughs> Dana, I'll just sort of you out. What what are you doing in here? <laughs> Do you know him, Dana? K kinda. He was asking for my email to send me an invitation to the play they're doing. R really? Well, why do you need emails for that? It's not just about invites to the play schedule, sitting arrangements, and other stuff. I, I see. C can I talk to you for a second? Sure. I feel like I'm cutting into this scene. Why, wow, Lily? Is this a Milgo's thing? Are you on a job to get information about Nora? No. But really? Yes, I'm not here as a Milko. Then do you like Nora? Is that why you're trying to get me an email address? <laughs> no, I have no interest in such a thing either. <laughs> but you're so jealous. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. C can I come then? Huh? If you're just inviting people to your play, then it shouldn't be a problem if I can come as well, right? Sure, you can come too if you like. But really? Of course! C cool. Give me your email address then. My email? I yes, Nora can be pretty shy so it's best I talk to her. Once I do, I'll send you her address by email. This way, that way, <laughs> that way you can add us both as guests to your play. I see. All right then. This is not how I planned it, but as long as I get to see what the email address looks like, then I guess it's fine. There you go. Thanks for helping me out. Oh, Dana, you're such a... She's just staring at her phone screen. Oh, well, I've done what I needed to. Let's not waste time. I spend the rest of the lunch break investigating the other names on the list. Acquiring their email wasn't too difficult since they were guys and they all seemed excited for the play for some reason. But sadly, none of them had the email I was looking for. My only ray of hope was Nora Studman. Wait till that day. Do I still have MJ following me? I do! <laughs> Why is that girl? Oh, nice. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure I messed this up somehow. Man, look at all these cringe people post online. <laughs> it's like one cringy quote after the other. Check out this first one. <laughs> Life can't stop you. People can't do anything to you. The only one standing in your way is yourself. It sounds pretty, but it's also so unrealistic. If people some a gun to your head, then you, they can't and will slap your cringy ass. <laughs> this cringe is everywhere too. I went to the t I went to this other social site, which only features pictures and videos. But those cringe masters found a way to, say, to share their cringe. By adding quotes on top of pictures. Why are you in my apartment again and where did you get that couch? I brought it from my place since you don't have any this put down over here. Concern. Also, back to the title. I guess it's a good thing I see it because I don't know how the heck I messed this up so badly. <laughs> Note to self, do not go into the classroom. Let's try going to the girls' room. Yeah. Of course, you want you to get suspended, Benny boy. Let's just see how going home works. Oh my god. Isn't this adorable? Where do I live? It's been a while since MG and I, MG and I walked home together. She and I are neighbors. Well, not really. 
She lives in that big mansion south of the city while I stay in the apartment complex near it. Is everything alright, Ben? Yeah, let's get going then. This mansion. This mansion? Also, is that a second school on the top left? Or is that a police station? God, I'm intrigued. Here we are, Lady MG. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ben. See you tomorrow at school, then. Of course. Take care of yourself, okay, Ben? Just don't eat too much junk food for dinner. I will eat what I want. Alright, time to head to my place. Is it here? This is the town's amusement park. Jesus Christ. It's very popular on weekends. Also, what MG say? I'm guessing this is the apartment complex, but also, I wanna see everything else. This is Teasyville's only hospital. MG's father works here if I remember correctly. Teasyville. An ordinary police station. It is a police station. A big mansion. No idea who owns it, but I think I heard some students say that the doors are ghosts in our school. Uh, I will keep you like that, Sina. I can hear construction work all the way from here. Fair enough. Nothing going on here? There we go. There's a whole amusement park between us. Jesus Christ. Look who's back, Mr. High School Student. Your TV doesn't work, by the way. What are you doing here? Oh, it's cool, Alex. Did you get any homework? You haven't answered my question. You have a loose button. Let me fix it for you. You don't want your identity exposed because of a silly button, now, do you? I don't have time for this, Nas. You're still glued to that thing, pressing the refresh button every 3 seconds hoping for something to come up. This is really unhealthy, Alex. Oh jeez. At least get a chance to standing up like this. Uh, he's already gone to his own little world. Every time I return from school, I boot up the computer and start checking up on the few leads I have. They still have more to go on, but they all let's at that end, one after the other. The only major lead I have right now is the email that was left on her phone. A single message that read, Hi Orange, are you feeling well? You didn't show up to school today, so I think maybe you're sick. Text me back when you see this message, okay? We miss you. Love, M. This is the only thing on her phone. No contact numbers, no pictures, none even music she listened to. I think that was supposed to be not. Question, who preferred this game? Can I be a proofreader? <laughs> Someone hire me to be a proofreader, please. Nazma's track the email address of the school. Apparently, it's a school issued email address only a student that goes here can have. Yet, there is no way to identify the owner of this address without accessing the school's private records. Not even the milkers have access to such protected private data. I ordered a few more milkers to ask around for the owner of this address, but none of them managed to find anything yet. Strange. So, I decided to take a different approach. I ordered one milker from each classroom to send me a list of all the students with the initial N and their first or last name. With these lists, I can investigate each possible N separately until I find the one I'm looking for. Just for clarity, I am seeing all the spelling errors and I'm just glazing my eyes over them. I just not <laughs> I'm trying not to scream at them, is the thing. The one that could lead me to her. But what is it? Did you find anything? Alex. The milker from 2-1 sent me his list. Oh, you're still doing that. 
Huh, I understand what you're trying to do, but what if N isn't one of the initials but rather a nickname? What are the initials of the nickname? Like it's just, like if the name is Jean but their friends call him Nina or something. I'm aware of this possibility, but the more likely scenario would be that N refers to one of the initials. If this ends up being a dead end, I'll have jump on investigating other possibilities such as nicknames. This could take you a long time, I know. Huh. How about that whole traitor matter? Have you made any progress with that? I have my suspicion, but I don't have any proof yet. You really think one of the milkers is working with the person that was pulling that girl's strings? I do. But if they really wanted to bring down the milkers, shouldn't they have taken a more direct approach? Especially if they have a spy in with one of the four co cool members of the milkers. Logically speaking, yes, but I suspect their motives might be more complex than that. Oh, what you just. Ah, uh, times like this make me miss the good old days. What the hell did you do in the good old days? At least by then we had an idea on who our enemy was. I can find her, Nas. I know I can. I believe you. I just hope you don't come to regret it. She left. Papers. My notes are scattered here. Uh, no working on notes, gotcha. The CV was left here by the previous owner. It doesn't look that I watched TV, anyways. My closet. I don't have many clues inside. I already checked my email and got the list of milkers in class 2 and sent me. Yeah, there's nothing left for me to do. I should call it a day. The very next day. So I'll watch your PM, don't worry. Alright, I have the list of milkers from class 2 on Sentinel. We should start by going there. Huh, I've been going to that classroom a lot lately. <laughs> Is MG still following me? Oh no. Okay, cool. For some reason, I thought I was that blonde over there. As usual, BJ is reading her notes. If I didn't know better, I would say she's stuck in a time loop. Excuse me for a moment. Hey, Asur! Can I talk to you for a second? I'm sorry, but I'm kinda busy right now. It won't take more than a second, I promise. It kinda did, though. Alright, what is it? I haven't received a message from you yet on the road you would like to play. Fill at the play. Right, Dad. Don't be shy. If you're interested in the road, just tell me. I'm not really a good actor. I doubt will be of any help. So just assign me to whatever role that's left. Huh, really? Yeah. No, if you excuse me. Wink, wink. Ah. I know it makes sense. Alright. I've already read through all this. But everyone knows what happens here. Because I'm dumb. I broke. I sequence broke. <laughs> oh, Dina is so in love with us. Oh, jeez. At what point do you become so obsessed with a person that getting their email is like the high point? 
I suppose the number looks too. Oh yeah, back to the apartment. Where the hell did you get the scholarship? Let's get that out of the way. And then all these notes. So the lady butterfingers sent me Nora's email address yet? Not yet. Huh. What's taking her so long? I bet she's caught up in her in her little hobby. <laughs> oh jeez. I've been pressing the refresh button for hours. No new list has arrived yet. Your milkers must be very lazy if they can't just write a simple list and send it to you. Up on the couch. A oh, phone notification. It's from Dana. She's finally done DJing. Oh my goodness. Ah, she's not the end we're looking for. Alex. A couple of days later. Before class, 7.56 a.m. This is strange. Before Miss Sarah walks in, Mia and I would like to talk to you about the play. Go ahead, Mia. Thanks, Chris. So most of you sent me an email about the role you want to play, and I've asked many of you to audition for Chris and I. So after much deliberation, I'm finally happy to see that we finally agreed in the cast. Finally, the chance for the protagonist to step up and take the spotlight. I'm adding the results to the class online page now. And everyone went on their phones. It says I'll play the role of the Night Squire. Huh. I would prefer this if I was given more of a background role, but at least I only have a few lines of dialogue. Um, Mia, there must be a mistake. It says here I play the role of the Bandit Chief. <laughs> yep, that's your role. But I have no lines and my band and my character dies 15 minutes into the play. Which the same would have happened in real life. Oh, <laughs> savage. That's just rude. Ah, uh, shut up, MJ. MG. Don't get full of yourself just because you're playing the princess. I don't know, everyone. It's not about which role you play, this is a combined effort for all the main role. Says the guy who's playing the knight, the main role in this play. For the next few days, Everyone in the class started prepping for the play. From making costumes to practicing their lines, everyone was actively participating. Of course, none of this really interested me, but since I didn't have any lines, I was able to sneak out and continue my search. The milkers kept sending me the lists one by one, and I investigated each person on this list. One name after the other, I crossed out the possible ends. Behind school, nothing, huh? I went through every list in classroom. None of the students to have the initial N in the name of school we're looking for. Uh, I see. Now, as you have an N in your name, how are you holding up? I've been doing this for a year and I'm used to reaching dead ends. That's not what I asked. I'm fine, Naz. It's not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop trying. She was here in the school. We have proof of that. Shouldn't it be enough for you? Knowing she's alive, somewhere living her life. You already know the answer to this question, Naz. <laughs> I guess I do. I'm sorry, what is the story here? Like, I know it's your sister, but jeez. Ben, are you listening to me? <laughs> Backstage, yeah. Are you sure you're okay, Ben? You look a bit preoccupied. Wow. I ain't find him, gee, don't worry. Aha. Uh -huh. Your part is coming up soon. Make sure you have your lines memorized. Don't worry about me. Go out there and break a leg, MG. Hey, <laughs> thank you. I'll do my best. Okay. Oh, jeez. Who's this fuck? Hey, boss. Ray. Oh, 
What are you doing here? One of your classmates was fell sick, so that Mia chick asked me if I could replace her. So I see, so you're playing one of the rare gods. <laughs> yep. Although that MG chick is super hot, I wouldn't mind being her actual rare god. Well, still, I was surprised to hear they're in the play, boss. I thought you just like looking in the spotlight. I didn't really have much choice in the matter. I see. Well, have no fear, boss. Your buddy Ree here has the thing to cheer you up. What thing? I found him, boss. I found the traitor. You did? Yep, I couldn't believe it at first. But after following and keeping an eye on both Chigo and Hans for days, I finally found something. It was Han, boss. I seen him in my own eyes. After class one day, he left school and went to this building at factory at the east side. There he met the suspicious looking guys. I could hear them talking about the milkers and discuss future plans to take us down. You were right, boss. There was really was a traitor. Yes, I was right about that. But it's not Han. The traitor is Yuri. Nice. O what are you seeing, boss? It's true I suspected Chigo and Han being a traitor. But you were there, you were right there. <laughs> but you were right there in my list too. Oh my goodness. Me? That's why I asked the three of you the same thing. I asked each of you to supervise and watch the other two and report to me if you find something incriminating. That uh, I was watched? Indeed. So Han or Chigo told you I was a traitor. Is this why you suspect me, boss? They're just lying to protect themselves, boss. I've seen Han in my empty eyes, and Chigo must be in on this too. This is why they're trying to frame me. You can't take their words, boss. Oh, I think more like the scenario is... He was the first one to talk. True, the traitor would obviously try to frame someone else to save himself. But none of them said a word about you. What? But Chigo and Han... Turn me ears, reporting that they found nothing suspicious about the other core members. Of course, since one of you three is a traitor, I can just count on your words. So I assigned three milkers, one milker for each of you to follow and report your movements to me. Oh boy! None of them reported anything suspicious about neither of you three. Yet you stand before me now and claim you saw something that didn't happen. You're the traitor, eh? You set your own self to be caught by Dana. And you did this under the orders of someone. Isn't that right, Ray? He did say that to your smart. Who do you work for? Isn't that the golden question? Huh? Let's just say you two know each other in a very well. It, you two know each other very well, Alex. But you know that name. That's right. I know who you are, boss. He told me everything about you. Oh jeez. Who is he? <laughs> no, 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 my dear boss. Now that my cover is blown, I don't have to do anything for you. At least not for free. What do you want? Simple. I want to deal with the legend himself. A duel. Yes. Show me you're not just words and tricks. <laughs> what? The RPG aspect of this game finally kicked in. Show me what it's like to fight a milker. A milker. A milker. This should be interesting. Double attack. He's a bit stronger than me. There we go. What on earth is this game? <laughs> oh, that was interesting. That was amusing. This is it. This is true power. You're exactly like him. An excellent hit, oh my goodness. Nice. 
So basically, that's the crit. Ray is lean. Ben was victorious. 150 experience points received. Ben is now level 2. Fantastic. We did it. It's fucking amazing. Not only can you use a practice sword like our deadly weapon, but you can use magic too. I fulfilled the witchery. Tell me who you work for. Oh, not yet, boss. Not yet. The shit was just begun. Wait! I need to go after him. But first, I should cast healing myself. Let's go. Oh, my fair lady. I traveled the lands and seas to see your smile again. Would you grant me the pleasure of this dance? It's time for the real show. The best show you could ever witness, you pathetic creatures. Huh? What's going on? That's enough, Ray. It's over, you lost. Ben? Alex. That is nuts. What the hell are these idiots doing? You've always hated the spotlight, huh, boss? But I'm afraid this is your time to shine. Show these pathetic losers the real you, or die. Hey, Mooch. Come on, boss. I thought you were going to see her. That's right, big man. She's probably somewhere crying out your name right now. Poor little girl. God, poor little girl. It's your fault, you know. He wouldn't be interested in her if it weren't for you. Oh, jeez. What's wrong, boss? You've gone quiet. I'm gonna fucking kill you. His eyes turn red. Let's. Any more magic? Nope. Let's just attack and see how this is Cool. Ooh. Nah, jeez. Ow. God damn it. Kill him. Ugh. Not bad, not bad. Huh. Um, I need to crit real soon. Otherwise, we're in a bad spot. Oh, my arm, I think it's broken. Come on. Yes! Yes! Ben was victorious. 150 execution points received. Ben is not level 3. Fine, you've won. I give up, boss. What are you? Where is she? Stop. Please. Wrong answer. Is he dead yet? Oh, that's not good blood. The end of chapter one. Look at the ending. Nice! Hey! Big tune! Unfortunately, we can't listen to it too much. I don't remember what happened after that. It's like as if my mind blocked out and the rest of my body moved on its own. The next thing I remember was waking up in my apartment with fists wrapped in bandages. You're awake. Don't stand up just yet. You need to rest. What happened? How did I get here? Why am I still wearing this dumb knight costume? Oh, spy costume. I followed you after you left the stage. You walked back in here and fell unconscious on your bed. Your fists were in pretty bad shape, but I did my best to patch them up. Next thing is that. So that really did happen. Ray and I fought in front of the school crowd. I, I won't call that fighting, huh? You almost punched him to death, Alex. They took him to the town's local hospital. He knows where she is now, as he said so. Yeah, I hear him too. She's been held captive by the person behind all of this. So after finding out, you decided to send your own lead to a coma where he can't talk nor divulge any information. I... I... 
the Alex I know would have captured him and slowly and forced the information out of him, slowly but surely. He went to force him in front of everyone, now using magic and skills to come to the whole school. I didn't use magic and skills. You're lucky everyone in the crowds will leave out some sort of special effects. Thanks to that director chick who confirmed it to everyone. Mia. Of course, there was no way to fake that balance on the cluster of bruises on that guy's face. Oh, this isn't good, Alex. Naz was right, because of my impulsive action, everything we built for a whole year went to shit. The school's war went for the next day and decided to suspend me for a month for the use of real violence in a school play. I would have been expelled if it wasn't for my students claiming it was Ray who attacked first. Not that it mattered right away, I've lost all my leads, and the only person that had any real information was laying unconscious in a hospital bed. It was fucked. Really fucked. Mystery location. Okay. So before we dive into um whatever this is, we're gonna call this an episode. And I'm gonna feel slightly bad because I didn't realize this was a full blown game. In the sense of this has got chapters upon chapters of gameplay. And I don't know when you finish this. So I'm gonna continue playing this and releasing every other day and I'll also find something else to release simultaneously. So look forward to two uploads a day until this finishes. Well, two uploads every other day. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!